Hey guys, Brenny here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a seven segment display. Now, I'm probably going to end up making this in three parts or three or four parts because I feel that would be a lot easier to rewatch and learn, and it will be a lot less effort for me in case I screw something up and have to do that part again instead of screwing something up and then doing the video again. Anyway, basically, what that is is a screen that has seven segments and displays whatever segments you want so I'll explain that in greater detail so it makes sense to the people that have no clue what a segment is alright as you'll see this 8 is made up of 3 by th 3 by 1 little areas each one of them is a segment and there is seven of them this is like an analog clock I believe analog yeah analog clock um your microwave and stuff like that unless you got some whack it up like wicked ass microwave that has like a freaking like countdown time I don't know uh, but yeah most things like this um, old watches and stuff like that to display numbers now they do look very complicated but I'm gonna try my hardest to break it down into parts I also made the screen a lot easier to understand and the wiring down here a lot easier to understand so hopefully I can teach you over here we have one that I'm working on with two uh, seven segment displays but I don't want to get into that because it I, I don't even know how to do it really, I'm just playing around with it. That's actually how I learnt most of this stuff. I watched a video about three months ago and now I'm trying to remake it and stuff like that. But anyway, what we'll be making is basically this design here. I don't know if I'll make it so when you push a button it works or not. Um, we'll see in the comments to this first video if we end up doing that because it's a lot of hassle and it's something I just threw together. It's not very effective like the rest of the stuff here I tried to make as effective as possible. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to making it. So the first part we're going to be learning how to make today is the screen and then we're going to be learning how to make the components behind the screen that actually make each segment light up and light off. On and off. Up and off? I don't know. Whatever. So we'll build it about here. What you need to do is go two up and on the third one put a three by one gap uh, block making our first segment. Then beside that leaving a scap here. I don't know what you'd call that. We need to do the same thing. Basically we're making an 8 out of blocks of 3 and that is actually what the segments are. So you guys should be able to follow along with this. I know there are younger audience, uh, younger viewers or less professional, I don't know, less less Minecrafty people watching. But yeah, hopefully you guys can just easily put together a 3 by one little slab of um, blocks. Now what we need to do is actually make a border around it so it looks a bit nicer and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is go all the way around it, not going over the white. Uh, it's also got to be one in front, so make sure you go along with that. And go around. We need to, we'll go about two wide around everything and on the sides we'll go four because it makes it easier to hide the wiring. Uh, with four we can get it in there pretty easy. Now this thing can be made a lot more compact, a lot more efficient, a lot better, but this is how I'm teaching you and hopefully my viewers learn something from this. Uh, we need to sleep though because it is night time and we do not want to make a video at night time. So I could just chuck up the bright brightness. Uh, we'll see what that's actually on while we sleep. Yeah, it's on very bright anyway. I, I always forget to put it back down to moody, but I do like it on moody because it's moody. Um, but yeah, if you guys actually enjoyed this tutorial, a thumbs up will be greatly appreciated and um, leave a comment if you want me to actually teach you how to make the buttons or you want to play around with it and try it yourself or if you just want me to look at it and sh so you guys can try to duplicate it. But I'll explain how it works still, I just won't... Well, I'll probably end up teaching you to be honest, but I'd like to know if you guys 100% want to see me teach you how to make that. So there's the four out, on this side we have four, and on this side we'll have four, the rest will be two. Um, I don't know if we actually did the top two, but that actually doesn't matter, uh, but we shall still see. Break that. Yeah, see the top's only one, but it doesn't really even matter, but <laughs> it, I like things to be even, so we're going to add one. Alright, now what we're going to do is add the segments, be uh, the wiring behind the segments. Now remembering that each one of these is a segment so we'll make a mock-up one and I'll teach you the wiring on it so you can have like a rough design of how each one's going to be made. 
There's our one mock-up for the non-vertical one. And now we're going to do the vertical one. That's a mock-up for that. Now, to do the wiring, basically all these are going to have redstone torches on it. And they will have pistons in front of it. And if you don't want the pistons in front of it, you can take them off and it will still work 100%. Uh, a lot of people don't do it like that, they either pick pistons or torches, but I figured it'd be more fun to just be able to change it whenever I want to. Uh, not that breaking like all the front bit off is that fun, but yeah, that's how it's going to be. And then we're going to have pistons on top, so what you're learning right now is very important. Alright, so to do the horizontal ones, what you need to do is do a 3 by 2 block behind it, like so, and then this middle block that is furthest away from it, drop down one, like so. Then, on either side facing into the white blocks, we're going to be having a repeater, and in the middle you have redstone. Now, when this is powered, it will power all of them as if they're one, uh, one segment, and now that wire is connected to that one segment. And that is how we start making the numbers, and you can actually make letters and shapes and stuff. Now, with these ones, it's uh, just as easy. You do two out from one, and then two below, so making sure you're not one in the middle and one just under. And then on the very bottom one, you do a U shape like so. And that's how you do that one. Now to wire it up, you do a redstone repeater facing into the two that is on the middle. Redstone going around facing into the middle one, which will actually disactivate that middle one. And then redstone on top of both of these, like so. And now when this one has a little pathway down, like so, you when we power it and connect redstone, you'll see that this turns off all the lights here. And that's basically the techniques we're going to be using to get this going. Um, there is more compact ways, there's bigger ways, there's ways to make it closer to the screen and stuff like that. But this is what we're going to be going with. Occasionally we might have to chuck up a block to block other blocks. So like, say we have them right beside each other like this, we don't want the redstone here touching so actually here like this we don't want the redstone touching so we might have to do things like this but yeah I will explain that slowly now all right here we go so we'll do the bottom one which is the most easiest just do our three by what is it three by uh, two I, I just call it six but we, we got to know an actual name for it repeater repeater uh, feel free to go back and actually watch that other part where I make them because it's very important there we go, we've done that one. We'll do all the middle ones first to basically cancel out doing the side ones and we can watch where we place blocks and stuff. Do this bottom one here, like so. There we go. That's the exact same thing, just a bit up. Put our redstone, there we go. We won't do the pathway down just yet. We'll do that last because that will be the most confusing, I think. There we go, another three by two. And once again, we do repeater, repeater, redstone. And there we go. That is how we will power the middle ones. Once, if I actually put a torch here beside all of these, the middle three will be turned off and we'll have, uh, I don't even know what you'd have, two lines. You'll have an 11 or two lines, but that's not actually how you'd do an 11. You'd have an individual segment display for each one. Uh, break them. Now we're going to do the side ones. This is where the redstone starts to touch occasionally and it's quite simple to block off. So we're going to do one like this. This will be our one from the middle. Then down here. And then our U shape. And you'll see once we put redstone on these that it actually touches these middle ones. And to stop that, you need to just put redstone above the connection. So say the connection's here, you just put a block in the middle, blocking it off. At the end, I personally think this looks like one of those things from Space Invaders, but yeah, don't judge me because I just have a wild imagination. Do our redstone repeater like that, and now we've done that side. Now we need to do the next side, two out, two out from here, U-shape here. Oops, I know I'm getting really awkward angles, but that's the thing with this, that's how you build it, like it's awkward angled. Um, our U-shaped redstone. Once again, feel free to go back to where I show you how to make these individual segments and study it in greater detail. Um, there we go. It's starting to look like one of those little squiggly things from Space Invaders. Do our U-shape first. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Um, I actually did that one too high. See, guys, I make a mistake. 
and then you guys will make a mistake and I'll feel like shit, so I have to classify that I made a mistake and then I feel like a dumbass. But yeah, you'll see that the block we used to cut off this one actually connects to this one and we'll need to put another block there to block it off, but it's quite simple. Uh, once you do all the shapes, we'll actually, we'll, we won't block them off yet, I'll just show you guys how to make it and then hopefully we can block it off after and you guys will get how to block it off better. So did we actually put a repeater on that side? Yes we did. Two wool and two wool here. There we go and we should actually be, we've done one, two, three, one, two, one, two. There we go, so that is all our segments done. We just need to put redstone on this one and then do blocks to cut it off. Uh, which I think probably t would turn out more confusing. But I want to show you guys. Alright, so when the red redstone's touching like that, to cut it off, bam, easy. Redstone touching like that on top of the lowest block, bam, cut it off. Uh, we've got it here too because it's connecting there. And that should be everything. Now what we're going to do is do our pathways down. So to do that, we will actually get out a different color. Uh, we'll get out lime. Lime seems fun. And the middle one is the very middle segment. So this segment here, I always like to put in the middle. And then I like to put this one to the bottom right and this one to the bottom left. You can do it either way, but you've got to remember when we're up to the decoder, which is that orange bit over there. Alright, so now what we need to do is find the very middle one, which is this one, and there's the one block drop down. Now we need to drop down another block, and another block, basically just making a little pathway for our redstone to go down. And we'll do redstone wiring on it. Oops, there we go. Now we have one. Now, like I said before, this bottom one down here will actually make come to the right, and then the very top one will make come to the left. And I like having these ones in the middle, uh, the very outer, top outer one to the very corner and then the next one in the middle which will end up here and then there. And then we'll have our very top one there, here, there and there. That's where they're all going to end up, maybe a bit further forward but that's roughly what we want. Alright, so we'll do this very top one now. Actually, um, we'll do these ones here. Alright, so the bottom left segment here we actually put a redstone pathway just off here which is quite simple and it just rocks all the way down and lines up perfectly with that and that's why I like to do it there also it's easy um, why would I make things more complicated do the same thing on the other side yeah uh, we can actually do our pathway to it now so like so uh, I wish I had like a better name for these so I could refer to them, like just teach you what their name is and then refer to them as that name, but I don't, so sorry. Um, then coming from this one, anywhere, I would prefer to go from the middle to be honest. You come out one, and go down, out another, come out another one, and then go down. So make sh come out while going down, and try to line up with this redstone here. So there's a one space between all of them basically and we keep going down and there we go it lines up perfectly and do the same thing on the other side so in the middle wherever you want really you can do it from here to or here uh, it doesn't matter too much come out to and then start going down and these are our tracks to connect to the segments and then once we get to the decoder part you actually get what, how the segments work and stuff but for now We'll do our tracks and keep them powered. Alright, so we do this, we connect that one up, put redstone wiring along this one, and then we just need to do our very last one, which is our highest one, which is our most awkward one. So there's the middle segment, you come down one from it and do a little ladder path down, come across two is it across two or across one? Yeah, it's across two, and then this one actually comes out the furthest, which sucks, because it makes us have to move everything back, just because I like things to be very symmetrical. So we'll bring all these out to here, and this one will be powered like so. And there we go. Now we bring all these out equal, so it's easier to work with. And there we go. Now we will go sleep again and I'll show you how we're going to keep them powered to keep them off. And then we will end this episode and get working on the next episode and hopefully you guys get this done pretty easily, just as easily as me. 
Uh, I'm trying to make this very understandable. So if you forget, uh, I'll actually post this before I make the next episode, so you guys can leave feedback. Um, you'll see that the that you can see the like wiring. I don't really like that, so it's just do another line beside it to block it off. I thought um three. Oh, actually that is just three. I need four, like I said before. Um, and there we go. Now it's blocked off, so from the front you won't be able to see it. Alright, so basically right now we still have the 8 from the very start and a ton of wiring. Now what you're going to do is, in your lime green, one block away from where they all ended up, because we have them all lined up, we're going to put a block and a repeater, uh, a torch on it. And this is an inverter to invert the power, because we want it always powered. So like so. There we go. Now when we look at it, they should all be off. And that is how we start making numbers and stuff, like... Say I wanted to make a 9, we need to turn this one here off. So I'll just chuck a switch on it for now just to show you guys. And we should have a... Oh crap, my bad, it's going to be reverse. So to make a 9 we need this one on and these ones off. I'll actually show you with the switches, because these switches won't really affect it. So when all of these are off that will create our 9 and it, we leave the other one on to t leave that segment on. There you go, there's a 9. I think with 7 segment 9's you actually take the bottom one off too, but I don't really like the look of that. And that's how we control our segments and this is the first part of it. The rest is quite simple, just as simple as this. Um, I just find it very hard to follow tutorials like this and I know mine will just probably be just as hard, but I do hope I cleared it up a bit. I'll get a back view so you guys can see roughly how to do it. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, part 2 will be out where we work on the decoder next, um, that will take more explaining really, and once I explain it you guys should be able to do it pretty easily, but yeah, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, favourite if you liked it enough, and crap like that, bye.